What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to learn 10 super useful and common expressions. I love learning fixed expressions. Not only do they keep you from translating in your head, but also help you gain fluency and sound more natural. I really recommend writing down these expressions in your vocabulary notebook. You can have a section for useful expressions like I do. Are you ready? If so, grab your notebook and a pen and let's kick off. So the expressions we're going to learn today are used both in the UK and the US. The first super useful and common expression on my list today is as you go along. It means to do an activity without preparing it in advance. It's similar to on the fly. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, you learn the ropes as you go along. The idiom to learn the ropes means to learn how to do an activity or a job. If you want to learn more sailing idioms like this one, you can check out my video on sailing idioms. I will leave the link in the description box. And one more example, he'll answer listener's questions as he goes along. Now let's move on to our second expression. I saw it coming. It means to predict that something is going to happen and to prepare for something well in advance. It can be used both in negative and positive contexts. And now two examples. The first one, I saw it coming and bought a webcam as soon as the first lockdown was announced back in March. I was quick because shortly after that, they were like gold dust. The idiom to be like gold dust means that something is very difficult to obtain, usually because everyone wants it. And the second example, I wasn't surprised when they said they were dating. I could see it coming a mile away. If you want, you can add a mile away to I saw it coming or I could see it coming to intensify it even more. And you can make it negative and say, I didn't see it coming, which means that you didn't expect something to happen and you weren't prepared for something. The first example, the boss was shocked when his right-hand man resigned. He didn't see it coming. And one more example, I can't believe you failed the exam. I didn't see it coming. Our third expression, it's next level bad, which means that something is very bad, horrible, awful, and can get any worse. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, how is the situation in Valencia COVID-wise? It's next level bad. Wise is a very interesting suffix that means relating to, for example, money-wise or work-wise. And one more example, how is work going? It's next level bad. A lot of employees have been made redundant and as a result, we have to work overtime. Number four, I learned the hard way. The infinitive is to learn something the hard way. It means to learn from difficult, unpleasant and painful experiences by making mistakes and wrong choices. And now two examples. The first one, not until Tom racked up huge debts did he learn to manage and save up money. He learned the hard way. And one more example, as a result of a breakup, she became interested in how to build a healthy and meaningful relationship. She learned how to choose a life partner the hard way. 
Let's continue our expression number five, give me a break. In an informal speech, we can pronounce give me like give me, give me a break. It means leave me alone, stop criticizing and annoy me. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, please stop saying what I have to do. Give me a break. And one more example, stop saying what clothes I should wear. Give me a break. And guys, before we continue and learn five more super useful expressions, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. Thank you. Let's continue with our lesson, our expression number six, live and let live. It means that you should live your life as you choose and let other people do the same. So you shouldn't criticize other people for behaving differently from you and for leading a different lifestyle. And now two examples. The first one, your children are grown-ups. They don't have to follow your advice. Live and let live. And one more example, you shouldn't complain so much about your neighbors. Live and let live. Number seven, make yourself at home. It means to relax and make yourself comfortable in someone else's home. And now a few examples. The first one, this is your room. Make yourself at home. And for the second example, I've got an extract from the song I Think He Knows by Taylor Swift. And she sings, when we get all along, I will make myself at home and he'll want me to stay. Number eight, bring it on. It's said when you're confident and excited about facing a challenge or a difficult situation. And now a few examples. The first one, are you ready to give your pep talk? Yes, bring it on. A pep talk is a short speech intended to encourage people to work harder or to win a game. Oftentimes it's said sarcastically. And one more example, are you ready for your first ever marathon? Can't wait, bring it on. Two more to go, number nine, give yourself a pat on the back. It means to give yourself praise for having done something well or achieving something, to treat yourself to something and celebrate it. And now a few examples. The first one, congrats on getting an A in your CAE exam. Give yourself a pat on the back. And one more example, Congrats on passing your driving test at the first attempt. Give yourself a pat on the back. And last but not least, I'm in a good place. It means that you are in a good situation, you're happy and content. And now a few examples. The first one, after having hit rock bottom, she's finally in a good place. And the last example, after having overcome their marriage crisis, they are in a good place now. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the seventh edition of super useful and common expressions. If you want to learn more useful expressions, check out the previous editions right here. And of course, if you enjoyed this English bit and learned something new, Please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!